sure that he's going to be able to do like the three nights away. Um, so we're really hoping that he does and that I'm just going to have a lovely break <laughs> in, in Grantham in a hotel by myself, still working. So I'm going to try and vlog. I don't know if it's going to be useful. I don't know what I'm going to be doing, but I just thought it might be fun to just vlog whilst I'm away. I love, um, I really enjoy vlogging. I just edited the Master Series vlog and it's just so much fun to look back on stuff. I am alone this time, so it's not going to be as like fun for me and possibly for you watching. Um, but we'll see what I get up to. Hopefully the Wi-Fi is good there. Um, I've got quite a lot of calls this week. I've got two today, so I have to check in and I've got an admin audit and I have my bookkeeping call with the goal getters. Um, nobody came to the 11 a.m. one, uh, which is unusual. So we will see if anyone turns up at the five o'clock one. Um, I've had a really, really tough couple of weeks. One of my VAs just went MIA on me. Um, so the rain is so loud. So if this doesn't record well, I'll re-record what I'm saying back in the, in the hotel later. Um, the rain is really heavy. Um, yeah, so one of my VAs went MIA and she worked with two of my biggest clients. And so that has been really tricky, especially because it was the last weekend of the quarter, last week of the quarter, sorry. And in the last week of the quarter, the, I had tons of meetings with goal getters. We do our quarterly planning session. So I had that, I had six, eight hours of workshops for the goal getters. Um, I also had bundle, bundle season has started and I am always most busy, like at the beginning, doing all the back end stuff. When bundle season's actually going ahead, I actually don't have much to do. Um, Tamara does all like the live stuff and my kind of job is kind of over. So when it starts, it's not gonna be super busy for me. Um, but in the like, I don't know, eight to 12 weeks leading up to it, it is mentally busy. So, you know, I'm blocking out as much of my calendar for tomorrow as I can, whilst also now having to work with a new client, which is not new, but new to me. I've actually never worked with this client. So, um, we started working together nearly three years ago. I set her up, I did all of the like backlog of invoicing issues and things like that, but then I've never worked with her day to day. Um, the VA has always had this client, so I don't know any of the processes. And so I've had to like jump in and just learn the ropes, but it has given me like huge confidence that I really do know what I'm doing. Like I can jump into any private practice and figure it out. And this one is particularly complex because um, she's a psychologist and she does ADHD and ASD assessments. So it's much more intense than um, normal therapy. And by intense, I mean like there's a lot of forms, there's a lot, there's just a lot going on. Um, you know, she works with medical insurance. It's just, it's like literally the busiest practice I have. Somebody's calling me. Oh, it's not gone off, so that should be fine. Um, let me just X out. If I decline it, wait. Am I still recording? Yeah. Um, so it's literally like the busiest practice that we work with. And I've had to just jump in, um, which is which is fine. Like I, It has given me massive confidence, like I said, that I really do know what I'm doing. And 
that client um, and she you know is busy herself she already had a full-time job but there was just no way I could take on both of them it's just I just wouldn't be able to so it's a short-term solution um, I've also started working with a new VA who I'm actually really excited to work with her um, we've known each other for a while and I'm really happy that she's going to be working as an associate for me and then somebody who was already an associate for me for one of my clients she is now going to be working on this client and potentially the other one as well we're just doing one at a time because they're such busy clients so that kind of brings you up to speed with what's been going on it's it's been crazy town um like i said in work and like personal stuff just my husband being away and now my son's at this camp and i'm driving up here and i hate working from my laptop my laptop is so slow compared to my desktop so it's gonna be it's gonna be a challenge but we're gonna get through it we're gonna get through it. if i can get through last week we can get through this week um, and hopefully he will be able to like really enjoy being with his friends it's his last year like being at a school as well he's in year six and we're gonna homeschool from uh next year so I really want him to just enjoy like this experience. I'm here, the reason I'm here is that hopefully he realizes I'm only eight minutes away and so it gives him the confidence to stay with his friends. That is my hope, that I will get a whole week to myself, which I could actually really use, just some time to myself. And he can just have that confidence to be with his friends knowing that I'm just a couple of minutes down the road. So I'm going to carry on driving now. Um, oh, this lorry wants to put it going in. Um, I'm going to carry on driving now. Uh, I should be there in 14 minutes, which is good because then I'll have like half an hour-ish to settle in before my first call, make sure the laptop's working and all that kind of jazz. So I will catch you later when we get there probably. three hours I was literally stuck in standstill traffic for practically an hour and tried to stop off at services and the toilets were like out of order so you know when it's just like everything that's going against you it was absolutely pouring it down with rain and it like oh, yeah anyway I was even bored of listening to my music had some podcasts I wanted to catch up on I did that and oh, yeah I was just I just wanted to get here I had an admin audit with a lovely psychologist um, at four o'clock and I literally got into my room at 3.59. I did email her ahead of time when I was stuck in the standstill traffic saying I'm 10 minutes away from my location but I don't think I'm going to get it in time but luckily I did. We had our call, it was amazing, she was absolutely lovely and hopefully I gave her some like really good advice on the stuff that she wanted to know about. All my admin uh, audits are now booked and I won't have any free for the rest of the year but I am going to open them up again uh, periodically so I won't open them up first thing in the year because we'll be launching Goal Getters which I'm super excited about so we're going to be super busy with that so once Goal Getters close I'll probably open them up sort of March April time um, lots of people like to talk to me about finances which is fine I'm just not a book like I'm qualified bookkeeper and I'm not an accountant so I can only give like the advice I know as a business owner. But I do actually love talking about finances. I really do. And I do have a lot of knowledge in it. It's just that I'm not, you know, qualified. So I can't give financial advice, but I can definitely give advice around expenses and business bank accounts and things like that. So that was good. And then straight after that, we had our goal getters bookkeeping co-working session and a few people turned up to that which was really good again so um i really love hosting them they're not like super popular in goal getters they're not like not everybody comes to the co-working 
you know, the bookkeeping co working. But I think they're really useful and they hold me accountable because I have to do my client's bookkeeping and my own every month. So, you know, I have two co working calls. I do her, you know, my clients first and then I do mine in the evening one. And it just really helps me like make sure I'm on top of it. So even if they're only useful for me, <laughs> um, then they're worth like continuing. People do come, but it's just it's just not the most popular part of goal guesses. I guess it's not really the main part of it. Um, I just think having your finances in order is really important and takes like pressure off you. I just feel like that's just such a weight. If you're not on top of your finances each month, it's such a weight, like, you know, tax season coming round or I don't know, just having to like have deadlines to stuff is just really stressful if you have to do like 12 months worth of work in like one go rather than just doing it every single month. Also just really, I really like to know where I am with my business. Like I have money in my account, but like how much of that is mine? You know, like I need to save some for tax. So I like to know kind of roughly how much I should be saving for tax each month so that I know how much in my bank account is actually my money. So yeah, that's really useful. Um, I, what am I doing tonight? I'm going to chill here i've had a really busy day like i said earlier so i'm going to chill i'm gonna you can't order room service here but i can go down to the bar and then they'll deliver it to me so i'm gonna go and order some food in a bit i'm just having a cup of tea and there were some biscuits just like i don't know what biscuits they are digesters i think plain ones though not chocolate and um so i'm just gonna chill here watch some of my ipad for a little bit and then i'll go and get some food so that is my night um, there's no bath here, which is annoying. Um, I was really looking forward to having a soak. Um, but it's fine. I need to wash my hair anyway, so I'll probably do that in the morning rather. Oh my God, I forgot my straighteners. Damn it. Oh no, my hair's going to be so fluffy. Shoot. There is actually another mum staying here, randomly. I don't know if I mentioned that in the first thing. There's another mum staying here from my son's school. So I might see if I can hunt her down and ask if she's got straighteners. Oh, that's really annoying. I don't know why I'm looking in here. There definitely won't be any straighteners here. Anyway, but I'm gonna go and chill now because I am knackered. And I'll catch up with you soon. is like shiny. <laughs> it's like super shiny. My phone was in the way. Anyway, it's stinging a little bit now. I think I've got too much stuff on. Hello. So I just had a call from my son. He said he's having the best time, which is amazing news. It means I can relax now. I'm gonna go get my pajamas on. I'm going to read my book, do my journaling, and get an early night. I am really tired after traveling and just everything. So I am really looking forward to just having a few days by myself if he's happy. Um, they're gonna let him ring me every day. So I think just like speaking to me and knowing that I'm close by is enough. And then it means I can just enjoy this room to myself and just get some work done by myself. Yeah, I'm really looking forward to, I'm really looking forward to having this time. I really feel like I needed a break. It's nice to do no bedtimes just for a few days. Like, you know, I do love being a mom. I love, you know, reading to my kids at night and putting them to bed and stuff, but it is nice to have a break from that every once in a while. So yeah, I'm just gonna really enjoy this time. Hopefully the weather will pick up. I'd really like to go for some walks. There's a spa here, I don't know what there is, I'm gonna to explore tomorrow. I've got a really busy day of work in the morning, 
the afternoon I will have I will have work to do but um it would be nice to get like just to explore the hotel and see what's about and just yeah just have some time to myself so I'll say good night now and I will see you in the morning know what I got know what I want boy don't get me wrong so sure we're having fun but it don't mean that I'm in love I like you a lot but you gotta step up Trying to tell you what to do How to make me fall for you You should learn that on your own I'll play cool Cause I hope you pick it up soon And you know just what to do Don't you Boy, just be honest It is five o'clock. I thought it was four o'clock. Okay, it's five o'clock. I have not stopped apart from the like, I don't know, 15 minutes you saw me eating my lunch. I was going to drive to like Tesco's and get like a sandwich lunch, but my maps weren't working. Um, I couldn't get a signal and so I got stressed out because it was so <laughs> rubbish outside. It was so cold and rainy. And I was like, do you know what, sorry, I'm just going to order from the bar today. I don't want to do that every day because like I don't want to just eat bar food like lunch and dinner lunch and dinner so the sun has come out i don't think it's warm out but i'm just going to get out of this room for a bit i literally haven't left other than like i just said and i've worked non-stop i'm like tired i was tired yesterday i'm tired now so i'm going to go and check out the spa I'm just gonna see what that's like and i might i mean i don't think there's anywhere to walk around here but i might just like take a look outside see what the weather's like so that's my plan this evening i am gonna do a bit more work uh i've got one email i want to get sent out and then i just want to do some tidying up of um another client's account and then i've got like some face masks and like some foot pedicure stuff so i'm gonna do that tonight uh, and just chill and watch some TV. If the spa's nice, I'm gonna take my book down and just maybe chill by the pool and read, just to be in like a different location. Um, and I think that's it. So I will check in with you in a bit. So I think I spent like an hour in there. That was like plenty of time. And now I've just come back to the room. I'm gonna go and order some food, have dinner, and then I'm gonna do my little face mask, foot stuff, and just chill again tonight. Um, I'm not going out. My dad's family actually live in Lincoln. So, and I was actually born here, and my dad's actually buried here. I never go and see his grave though like literally never we used to go on his anniversary like mainly for my sister because she likes go not likes going but she wanted to go um but yeah we haven't been for a really long time and uh yeah i feel a bit weird like being here like haven't been here for a really long time i went to university in lincoln um yeah so it's like 
and I was born here, did I say that? Yeah, I was born here, went to university here, I only went for a year because he died in my first year at uni. But anyway, my dad's family live here still and so I just reached out to my cousin to see if she wants to have dinner with me tomorrow. I didn't reach out to anyone before because I didn't know if Dex would be with me, um, but it doesn't look like he's going to be. It looks like he's going to be away the whole time, which is amazing. So yeah, I want to see if she wants to have dinner with me. Maybe, maybe not. And yeah, so hopefully tomorrow night, but I'm going to venture out tomorrow regardless. Um, there's like a shopping centre here. So once I've done my work, I think I'll just potter about and go out. The cathedral's really nice. Just like hope, you know, if the weather holds out. It's actually been quite dry today. So hopefully tomorrow will be the same and then we can go out and have a look around Lincoln. Okay, I'm gonna go and order my food and then get settled in for the night. loads to do all the time it's like basically what I've realized is the to-do list never ends like I could literally watch work 24 7 24 7 and then still stuff to be done so I um oh, my face keeps going so red anyway um <clears throat> I'm gonna put this like Facial thing on. I already washed my face once, but before I went to the spa, I'm just gonna give it another quick, like, clean with the lotion. And then I'm going to get my face mask on, and then I can just sit at the computer whilst this is on for like, I think the foot thing says 30 minutes. 60 to 90 minutes? Oh my god. I probably won't keep it on for that long. Okay, well, also I need scissors to cut that. I, there's definitely no scissors here. I didn't bring scissors with me, so, you know, we'll see if we can even get them on. But anyway, there's like a foot exfoliant thing, a facial mask, and yeah, let me get this open. My feet are already clean because it says to clean them first, but I've already cleaned them like I was at the spa, so. That'll be fine. Okay. Ooh, what are these things? What's this? Tear off and fix. To what? I don't know. Oh, these are definitely gonna need scissors. I can't. And um, maybe I can bite it. Let's try. Is it just me? I literally, I hate having bare feet anywhere. Like I hate walking on any kind of surface with bare feet. And my mum said I was the same. Like when I was little, I used to cry if my foot touched anything like sand, grass. <clears throat> oh, okay, I can rip, hopefully. Oh. Thing is, how, oh my God, this is gonna be so, ugh. Is that it? Right, shall I just... <laughs> Wait. Cut them. Put your feet in them. Alrighty. I don't know what the stuff is on them. Oh, I think I messed this one up. Oh no, I didn't. Yay. Oh, it's so slimy. <gasps> and cold. to what? I don't know what this, I don't know what this. Exfoliate, soothes and softens. Okay, fun. Okay, I haven't used this brand before. They're all the same though. They're just, oh God, it feels horrible. Right, I'm putting it in the bin. Ah, King is gonna be like, what the hell is this woman doing in this like hotel room? She's got 
like crisp packets all over the place. And then like facial stuff. This is wet as, okay. I don't wanna mess it up. Once I've put this on, I'll show you my feet. If anyone's interested. Oh, it's so wet. Okay. Oh God. This is like called a moisture bomb. I love the moisture bomb ones. I use all different ones. This one I've got is super hydrating and replumping. Definitely need some replumping. Oh God. Nice on my face. I also I have some other stuff that I think this is enough for now. I've got some of those like patches you put under your eyes, but I think they're for like the morning. So I'll put them on in the morning. Okay, I'll show you my feet and then I'm gonna just work for as long as I can with this stuff on. And my cousin got back to me and I'm going to their house, meeting her partner for the first time. I think they've been together for years, that's how often we see each other. And uh, so I'm gonna go to their new house and meet them for dinner. We're having chili con carne and I've just had chili con carne but I didn't wanna say, no, please don't make me that, make me something else. Cause like, hi, haven't seen you in, can't remember how many years, like I'm talking a long time, like, the last time I remember seeing them is at my nephew's christening. And my nephew's the same age as my daughter, so like seven. And I think he was like one when he got christened, so like six years, a really long time. So I'm not gonna be like, hey, thanks, but I don't want what you're offering me. Okay, let me show you my feet. Okay. They're like all slimy, but hopefully they'll stay on. I might put my socks over the top to keep them on. Right, I'm gonna just work now. Boy, just be honest. I know you want it. Put some work into it. Cause you know that I'm hard to love. It won't be easy. So don't be lazy. Just give it to me. Cause you know Alrighty. that I'm hard to love. Well, that was successful. Nice little pamper, even though I was working whilst I was pampering. My. Oh my god, my feet feel lovely. Ooh, I'm happy about that now. Okay, whilst I was doing all that, I've just got a phone call from Dexter and he wants me to come pick him up tonight. So let me just move you actually, one sec. Can I rest you here? Well, that'd be too. Let me have a look. Mm, I'll lean down a little bit. Um, he wants me to come, I don't know where to look when I've got the front facing camera, sorry. He wants me to come pick him up, so I'm gonna go and get him now. Um, it should take me about 15 minutes to get there, but it's really pitch black and I don't know where I'm going, so I'm gonna leave a little bit early. I think I'm gonna leave in about five minutes. So I'm gonna go get him. Uh, we're gonna have a little sleepover and then I'm gonna take him back. And then he thinks that he'll stay tomorrow night there. He just said he needs like a break, so yeah. Exciting, gonna go and see him. I'm really excited to see him and have a cuddle with him tonight. Um, I've got a big bed, so he'll be super happy. This is the one where we do fencing, and we're about to do it. You <laughs> literally can't hear a word you're saying. Do you know what you're saying? <laughs> oh no. Oh my god, are you running? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, damn. Crazy, look at your little face. <laughs> so cute. I'm so proud of you, I'm so glad you had fun. What are you doing? <laughs> you like that, mate? Where are you going? <laughs> Snorting. Ow! <laughs> Oh my god, I think you're a bit hyper from being with all your friends. Yeah. Yeah. And those skittles they gave you. That was silly. I only ate two. Okay, good. What colours did you have? My I like favorite. the red one, the yes. strawberries. 
the red and orange are my favourite. <laughs> the strawberries are so good. Have you actually had any fruit or vegetables? Um, I had... I... Um, I... Hello. Oh god, I'm not <laughs> feel good now. Why? If I, I didn't... I, you I, trying to tell me you've had not one piece of fruit or vegetable since you've been away? No fruit, sorry. <laughs> or vegetables, did you have beans? Um, no, I'm trying to remember. Good morning! It is Friday. Just dropped my son back off at his camp thing and now I'm going back to the hotel. Sorry I didn't vlog yesterday. I literally just was chained to my laptop all all day. I literally didn't leave the hotel. Got lunch out when I got lunch from Tesco's when I dropped my son off in the morning and then I was just at my desk all day. It was super boring. So I didn't vlog. Um, it was just really busy just busy 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 and working on my laptop is like the worst thing ever because it just is not anywhere near as powerful as my computer and so it's slow and clunky and oh, it's just really frustrating i had to shut it down a couple of times too um just driving through the lincolnshire countryside to go back to the hotel um luckily i'm only like i think it's like eight miles away so it's just a nice little drive in the morning actually especially when the sun's out it's cold but it's sunny so the plan for today is um we've got goal getters co-working this morning somebody's already there so i'm gonna get back to the hotel make a cup of tea and log on to that i've got an hour's worth of work to do for one of my clients um and then i am going to drive home so i check out at 11 i'm going to drive straight home deck seems completely fine to go on the coach so that's all good um I don't want to hang out at the hotel I just want to get home get back on my computer and I just can't wait to see my daughter and my husband I guess <laughs> yeah and him too obviously um yeah I just really looking forward to us all being together we haven't been together the four of us for a really long time like a good couple of weeks there's always been somebody like out and about doing stuff so this weekend's going to be really lovely uh, just gonna have a really nice chilled weekend. I think Dex is gonna be extremely tired. He did not want to get up this morning. Lily's gonna feel really. Lily's gonna be really clingy um, because she's missed me. So yeah, so that's what I'm doing. Um, I really enjoy doing the goal getters co-working. Um, I don't tend to use it for my actual strategic like block. Um, myself I either do that with Kate or like alone depending on what I'm working on um, but I really like being there on a Friday morning just kind of tidying everything up for the week um, so that's the way I use it but I know that others do use it as their strategic block so that's basically where you get your like needle moving work done so it's not like your day-to-day -day work just make sure my class um, it really is like the time where you get your head down and like get on with whatever it is that you want to achieve this quarter so I'm gonna do that um, just for one hour I've already packed so that's all done and yeah and last night I went out to my cousin's house I we worked out we haven't seen each other for like six years which is crazy like how time just disappears and um, yeah, so that was nice to see her and her new house and have some home cooked food. So I'm just gonna drive back to the hotel now, get on with the co-working, an hour's worth of work and then drive home.
you okay? Yes, I kind of, <laughs> kind of forgotten that. I was forgot that you were in here. Because <laughs> I've been like, yeah, screwing stuff away. Oh, that's good. You've been, what you've been working on. the grave. 